A WrestleMania has been WWE's signature event for almost 40 years, and in that time there have been some downright hilarious bloopers and blunders from WWE talent. From wrestlers falling over to match finishes going completely wrong, it simply wouldn't be the granddaddy of them all without a potch or two. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 20 of the funniest WrestleMania botches of all time. Some of these you would have definitely forgotten about. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 20, Mandy Rose slips over at WrestleMania 37. At WrestleMania 37 welcomed back fans to the WWE shows following the COVID-19 pandemic. During Mandy Rose's entrance on night one of the show, she got a little too excited. As she made her way down to the ring along with Dana Brooke, Rose slipped over, but it was the manner she did and she fell to the floor in a heap. It was a comedic moment and thankfully Rose was absolutely fine and she was able to compete in the match as originally planned. Number 19, a live feed blooper at WrestleMania 19. During the live feed of WrestleMania 19, WWE made a huge blunder with their production. As Stacey Keebler, Tori Wilson, Tanya Ballinger, and Katana Baker had finished their awkward segment backstage, the live feed cut out to the outside of the stadium. But that wasn't the issue, the problem was that fans could audibly hear a member of the production team stating, And now let's move on, that was great. Let's go. Now this would be later edited out of the WWE DVD and digital versions of the pay-per-view, so footage of the botch is extremely hard to come across. Number 18, John Cena's mic doesn't work at WrestleMania 19. Speaking of WrestleMania 19, botches occurred before the show had even gone on the air. As on the Sunday Night Heat pre-show, John Cena, who was making his first WrestleMania appearance, cut a rap on Jay-Z, but his mic unfortunately wasn't working. Cena eventually got the mic to work, but it was an embarrassing moment which could have ruined Cena's first time under the bright lights of WrestleMania. Number 17, DX Bang gets booed out of the building at WrestleMania 14. Chris Warren and the DX Band opened up WrestleMania 14 with their own unique version of America the Beautiful. This version was absolutely atrocious, and the Attitude Era audience couldn't even believe what they were hearing. America! The band were virtually booed out of the building and WWE evidently agreed with the reaction from the fans as the performance would be edited out of the WWE Network version of the pay-per-view event. Number 16, Animal's Piledriver Botch at WrestleMania 13. Ahmed Johnson and the Legion of Doom collided with the Nation of Domination at WrestleMania 13 in a chaotic Chicago street fight. Now the match is well known for one infamous botch involving Animal and Farouk. Animal attempted to pile drive Farouk through the French announce table at ringside, but Animal just couldn't get a proper grip, and they looked reluctant to fully perform the move. In a scary spot, Animal virtually performed the move onto the floor, and it was lucky that neither man wasn't seriously hurt. Number 15, who is Andrew, WrestleMania 38? One of the most hilarious botches of 2022 saw WWE accidentally refer to Andre the Giant as Andrew the Giant. This took place when the winner of the annual Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royals, Mad Cat Moss, appeared on the kickoff show for WrestleMania 38 for a special interview. Moss's graphic would state that he was the winner of the 2022 Andrew the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, a summon in WWE's production team had goofed, making a huge yet comedic blunder. Number 14, a Universal Champion at WrestleMania 34. The WWE production team made another huge error at the start of one of the top matches at WrestleMania 34. During AJ Styles' entrance for his match with Shinsuke Nakamura, his name graphic stated that he was the Universal Champion, but he wasn't, he was the actual WWE Champion. Now there was no way that Vince McMahon missed this, and he was likely furious that this blunder occurred. Number 13, Shawn Michaels gets annoyed at the cameraman, WrestleMania 11, 12, and, well, 14. During Shawn Michaels' initial run in WWE, he was prone to lash out and get annoyed at the cameraman. This was seen at WrestleMania 12 where he would jump down from the apron and curse at the cameraman for being in the wrong position. This was during HBK's classic Iron Man match with Bret Hart and it was clear that HBK had an issue with that specific cameraman as he would proceed to make eye contact with him to check on his positioning numerous times throughout the match. A similar incident occurred at WrestleMania 11 where HBK took a bump to the outside and landed right on a Japanese photographer. 
Unfortunately, this time, HBK decided to physically put his hands on the poor photographer. Now, let's also not forget WrestleMania 14, where he had another issue with a cameraman. One thing's for sure, HBK just doesn't like cameramen. Number 12, Rhino's Titan Tron at WrestleMania 19. As Rhino made his way down to the ring at WrestleMania 19 for his match, fans noticed something curious. His Titan Tron had a picture of Team Angle embedded onto it. This picture lasted for a number of seconds before WWE realized and Rhino's traditional Titan Tron would play. WWE have never decided to edit out this botch as they probably didn't think it was a big deal, but it's humorous to witness nonetheless. Number 11, Triple H's fall at WrestleMania 20. At WrestleMania 20's main event, which featured Triple H defending his world title against Chris Benoit and Shawn Michaels, is an all time classic, but it does feature one botch that fans often forget about when discussing the match. During the final portion of the match, the game would be sent over the top rope, and in doing so, the game took a huge bump to the outside and accidentally took out the cameraman. And cameramen just get no luck at WrestleMania, don't they? WWE quickly had to change camera angles as that specific camera was now out of action for good. Number 10, The Undertaker's Druids cause a commotion at WrestleMania 20. The Undertaker's return as the Deadman persona at WrestleMania 20 was pure magic, but as the Druids were led to the ring by Paul Bearer, it was apparent that something had gone kind of wrong. Discreetly behind them was a member of the WWE's production team putting out the flames that were on the ground. It looks like there was a malfunctioning with the flaming torches that the druids were carrying, but thankfully nobody was hurt, and The Undertaker was able to make his entrance without a hitch. Number 9, The Wrong Winner at WrestleMania 16 WrestleMania 16 featured one of the most confusing match finishes in WrestleMania history. Crash Holly would defend his hardcore title against a number of WWE stars in a battle royal, and the planned finish was to see Crash leave WrestleMania with the title. However, the match finish was totally botched and Hardcore Holly ended up winning the title. Holly was supposed to get a two count before the 15 minute time limit ran out. However, there was an issue with the timing and Hardcore accidentally got a three count. As a result, Hardcore won the Hardcore title in a completely unplanned WrestleMania title change. Number eight, Mick Foley misses the table at WrestleMania 16. Whilst fans firmly expected the main event of WrestleMania 16 to be between Triple H and The Rock, they decided to turn the match into a fatal four-way which incorporated The Big Show and a seemingly retired Mick Foley. Foley's involvement in the match was rather lackluster, and he was involved in a terrible botch where he completely missed the announce table. Instead of crashing into The Rock with a middle rope elbow drop, Foley made contact with the edge of the announce table, which must have been incredibly painful. Triple H then decided to improvise by delivering an elbow drop of his own, but once again the table wasn't breaking. As the game was then walking onto the table, they began to break. An irritated Triple H then proceeded to perform an elbow drop from the barricade, which resulted in the table finally collapsing. Number 7, Missing a Step at WrestleMania 5. A WrestleMania 5 took place at the Boardwalk Hall in New Jersey, not really the Trump Plaza which it said, and WWE had a unique setup for the event. The entranceway saw wrestlers first come down to the ring via steps and then walk down an uneven surface which was causing great difficulties for some wrestlers. This was first apparent when one half of the bushwhackers almost fell over, and then when Mr. Perfect made his way down to the ring, he almost tripped at the exact same spot. What was humorous about Perfect Slip was the member of the security team warned him about the error that was causing talent to trip, but Perfect decided to ignore the lady and proceeded to stumble. Number 6, Charlotte Flair Slip, WrestleMania 38. Charlotte Flair suffered an awkward, uh, suffered an awkward attire malfunction during a WrestleMania 38 showdown with Ronda Rousey. As Flair was laying on the mat, she suffered a problem with her attire and this resulted in a slip during one of the biggest matches of her career. Thankfully, WWE quickly cut to a black screen so Flair could fix her attire and carry on with the match. Number 5, Rey Mysterio Entrance Botch at WrestleMania 26. One of the top matches on the WrestleMania 26 match card saw CM Punk take on Rey Mysterio. Unfortunately for Mysterio, he was supposed to have a special entrance, but it was massively botched. Mysterio was supposed to launch himself through a hole in the stage, but this was malfunction, and this led to Mysterio crawling out in an awkward manner. This botch wasn't seen on the live broadcast, but fan footage exists of the entrance blunder. Number 4, The Undertaker's Dramatic Sell at WrestleMania 13. The main event of WrestleMania 13 saw The Undertaker defeat Psycho Sid in an underwhelming match to win the WWE title. During the match, a rather hilarious botch occurred when Taker sold a kick in the most comedic fashion possible. The dead man attempted to bring Sid to the outside, and to stop this, Sid lightly kicked the dead man. 
but Tigger then proceeded to stumble backwards over the announce table in quite a funny way. It was the definition of an oversell and arguably one of the most entertaining moments of the entire match. Number 3. Shawn Michaels' gun doesn't work at WrestleMania 19 For Shawn Michaels' entrance at WrestleMania 19, he would fire confetti guns into the crowd, but the problem was that a number of these malfunctioned. The first one fired without a hitch, but the second one failed to work and HBK had to awkwardly abandon the gun. The third one thankfully worked, but the fourth one also malfunctioned. It was also humorous as HBK's facial expressions following the props failing was incredibly funny. Number 2. The Undertaker misses the big boot at WrestleMania 34 A WWE fans got to see John Cena go one on one with Taker at WrestleMania 34 in 2018. The unfortunate thing was that WWE decided to make the match just a few minutes in length, so fans barely got a match. The match however did feature an infamous botch, which both the dead man and Cena wouldn't have been proud of. Taker would perform his trademark big boot, but he missed Cena by a considerable distance. Cena decided to sell the boot anyway and the two quickly moved on to the next planned spot in the match. And number 1. The Worst Stunner Ever at WrestleMania 38 During Night 2 of WrestleMania 38, Vince McMahon would defeat Pat McAfee in an impromptu match. As McMahon and Austin Theory were celebrating, Stone Cold Steve Austin's music would hit and Austin would deliver an incredible Stone Cold Stunner to Theory which was sold to perfection. But when Austin delivered a stunner to McMahon, time stood still. Once Austin kicked McMahon in the midsection, he awkwardly stumbled into the ropes and then Austin had to literally grab his neck to attempt the move again. McMahon then fell to the floor in a heap. The botch lit the internet on fire and it quickly went viral for being one of the funniest botches in WWE history. But there you have it folks, 20 of the funniest WrestleMania botches of all time. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.